Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, therefore I apologise in advance if I stumble over my words going forwards, and if the quality of this video is fairly poor too, if there's any lag, anything like that at all. Sadly, it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision Song Contest related video here on my channel. Last time I reacted to a video that somebody uploaded, and that video consisted of short snippets of all the songs up until 2018 that finished second in the Eurovision Song Contest. So we had songs like uh, Serbia and Montenegro 2004, we had Russia 2006, we had Germany 1981, you know, songs like that. Today I'm going to be watching another video uploaded by the same person, Hot Music Charts, and this video was uploaded in July of 2018. It's all the third placed entries in Eurovision's history from 1957 to 2018. So it does exclude the Tel Aviv contest last year, but I will talk briefly about the song that finished third that year at the end of this video. As always, the video that I'm watching won't be in the bottom corner of the video that you're currently watching, but the video that I'm reacting to is online anyway, you can check it out if you so wish. I have seen this video before, albeit not for a while, and as I said in my previous video, my knowledge of Eurovision, I would say, is fairly good from 1993 to the present day. That's my entire lifetime, so far. Uh, anything certainly pre-1980, I'm not so knowledgeable on. But I will have heard the songs in full at some point anyway. Just want to make that clear. So let's get into this then, because I really do need to stop rambling in my videos. All the third positions of the Eurovision Song Contest. And now, do let me know if you want to see me react to all the fourth placed entries, fifth placed entries, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and so on, if you so wish. My next video is probably going to be reacting to all the songs that have finished last in Eurovision's history. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Obviously, with no Eurovision this year, there's not really much to talk about now, but I do still want to put out Eurovision-related content on my channel. Here we go. Not going to be the most riveting video, but anyway. There was no third place in 1956, of course. We don't know the exact results. 1957 was Denmark, then. Skibet Skalsailinat, the ship that sails at night, I think is the rough translation. Berta Wilke and Gustav Winkler, there he is, looking rather dapper in his smart outfit and hat. Best known for the long smooch at the end of that performance, which I think was quite controversial at the time. It's a very gentle melody. And then an absolute classic, arguably the most famous Eurovision song there's ever been. Domenico Modugno for Italy, 1958. Volare, or rather Nel Blu di Pinto di Blu. What a great performance this was. There he is, in his bow tie, waving his hands above his head. Absolute classic, being covered by so many musicians. And it only finished third. Jean-Philippe for France, 1959. Wee, oui, wee, oui, wee, oui, wee. Oui. Yes, 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 yes. Very happy tune. Another guy in a bow tie. Everybody dressed so much smarter back then. <laughs> you know, it really was all about the voice. There was no such thing as staging necessarily. Or, um, you know, certainly no pyrotechnics or anything like that. It really was just somebody doing their thing. And the emphasis was very much on the vocals. And it's a shame Eurovision isn't really like that now. So much. François de Gelt, who was in the previous video I filmed. This is him for Monaco in 1960. Very grand vocals. Another guy in a bow tie, it looks like, anyway. Switzerland, 61. It's been a long time since I listened to these entries. Franca di Rienzo, Nous aurons demain. That's a very sweet little song, that. Camilo Felden for Luxembourg, 62. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> he looks a bit like Dracula. <laughs> if I'm 
being honest with you. Look at those eyebrows. Not a bad song, I suppose. This is great. Italy 63. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's a real suave thing going on with this one. Classy stuff from Italy, of course. Emilio Pericoli, Uno per tutte. This is a really good song. Yeah. I love the instrumentation here. Sounds great with the orchestra. Romuald for Monaco, 64. Où sont elles passées? He's wearing a jacket that seems too big for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the woman in the back is just looking at him dreamily. <laughs> Guy Mardel for France, 65. N'avou jamais. Quite stirring stuff. Jamais, jamais, jamais. A little bit repetitive, but not a bad song. This is amazing. This is one of the best third-placed entries we've ever had. Hands down, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this. Norway 66, Orsa Cleveland, with In Teternit und Solen. And I believe she went into politics. She hosted, 20 years later in 1986, when Norway hosted for the first time, of course, in Bergen. This is great. The melody is fantastic. Quite mysterious and edgy and cool. And she's quite a striking looking woman anyway. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da. That's a fantastic song. France again, 67. Il doit faire boulevard. Noël Cordier. Stripey dress. 1964. Mm, bit dull, this one, I'll be honest with you. Isabelle Aubray, former winner. Back for France in 68. La Source. Blue dress. Again, perhaps not the most memorable ditty there. No third place in 1969, so moving on. And by this point, the contest is really coming into its own. It's... An established show every year. More countries getting interested. Katja Epstein, who I said in my previous video, one of the most successful musicians never to win, because she finished in the top three, three times for Germany, but never won. Oh, yeah. This is quite a cool song. Plinky Plonky Melody. Wunder gibt die Schema wieder. And there she is again for Germany in 71. If you're German, let me know. Is she still making music? In fact, let's just uh, take a bit of a pause here and, and see. Why not? Why not? This is Diese Welt, which means this world, does it not? Something like that. Katja Epstein. There she is. She's 75 now. Seems like she's still doing a little bit of music every now and then. This is a good song. Quite uplifting. Da, 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 da. And Germany again. 1972. Mary Russe. Yeah, this is a pretty bog standard sort of song. But again, fairly happy. Cliff Richard. Now, I said in my previous video, Cliff Richard was huge here in Britain in the 60s and 70s. Massively, massively popular with everybody. He's still very well known today. Uh, certainly his calendars sell out well every year. I think uh, all the old folks love a bit of Cliff Richard. Uh, power to all our friends. Yeah, doing that Madame Monsieur thing. <laughs> what an outfit. He wasn't that far away from winning again. Yeah. I see a star, Mouth and McNeil. Da, da. Yeah, this is a pretty decent entry. Look at him. Massive hair. <laughs> Wesson Dorigetsi for Italy, 75. Yeah, this is smooth, relaxing. Da, 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 da. Yeah. 
Mary Christie for Monaco, You the Music and Me, Toi la Musique et Moi, yeah, jaunty stuff, da 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 da, good beat. The Swarbricks plus two for Ireland 77, it's nice to be in love again. Nice to be in love again. Da da, familiar feeling. Oh yeah, not a bad song. Joël Prévost for France, 78. Il y aura toujours des violons. Another smartly dressed chap. Da 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 da. I mean, I know the melodies, that's the thing. Even though these songs really are quite old now. Anne-Marie David, one for Luxembourg, here she is, back for France, 79. I am a sunny child, I think the rough translation. Yeah, this is alright, but not as good as her actual winner. The UK, 1980. <laughs> this is a bit cheesy. Love Enough for Two, Prima Donna. Look at the backing singer there. <laughs> the guy with this typical 80s moustache. Yes, I've got love enough for two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a sweet song, but nothing amazing. Whom and whom, Jean Gabilou? Who and whom? Yeah. As you can probably tell, my singing voice is not the best. Stirring stuff from France. Arlette Zola. Amour en thème. Da, 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 da. This is nice. I mean, not a whole lot really going on on stage. This was in Harrogate, of all places. <laughs> 1983, there she is, Carola. 16 years of age at the time. Fremling. What a voice for somebody so young. Da, 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 Another happy song. Spain. Yeah, this is a bit of a forgotten entry. Lady, Lady by Bravo. Lady, Lady, Lady. Da. Yeah. Yeah, again, very simple staging. And we're in the mid-80s now. Ah, oh, this is great. Kiki Danielson. Ah, uh, yeah, that's an 80s haircut if ever there was one. Massive plume of blonde hair. This is Bravi Brahona, good vibrations. Da, da, da. Ah, oh, this is great. I've listened to this song plenty of times. And she was in Melfest just a year or two ago. Great stuff. Luxembourg, 86. The love of my life. Cherisse. Yeah, you can see why this did well. Ah, this is a classic. Gente di mare, people of the sea, I think. Umberto Tozzi and Raff. Yeah. Mmm, stirring stuff again. I keep using that term, but it really is. Italy 87. Ah, oh, hey! Another fantastic haircut, if ever there was one. Hot eyes. For Denmark, 88. I forgot all about this. I think they represented Denmark on three occasions. Is this the one where she was pregnant? This is a great song. Cada Seva, you're saying. Oh, whoops, press the wrong button there. Oh, dear. Da, 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 da. Seva, you say. Ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think she was pregnant here. Great song. And then Denmark again. This is a classic Vimala bien rud, we'll paint the town red, Berta Cher. My personal winner, I think, from 1989. Da, 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 da. That's a great feel good tune, that is. No third place in 1990 because two songs finished in second place. Now. Israel. 1991, this is Cannes, which is now the name of their main broadcaster. <laughs> Duo Dats. 
Great song. Just a good beat. Feel good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. What's the best third place song never to win? Do let me know your thoughts. Mary Spiteri for Malta. Yeah. Little child. This is fine. I'm not a huge fan of her voice, though. Well, now we are into my lifetime. So, 1993, Switzerland. Da, 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 da. This is a good ballad. Quite simply, myself. Da, da, da. Annie Cotton. I think she was from Canada. Great voice. Oh, this is amazing. If you have not seen this performance, ladies and gentlemen, please, please do check it out. It's absolutely fantastic. Germany, 1994. Mercado, we're gaming the party. We're throwing a party. Rough translation. Three girls. This is great. I've seen this performance so many times. It never gets boring. The drummer, absolutely loving life. Boris the party. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Here he is, Jan Johansson, in Melfest this year. Great singer, Sapel May. This is a relaxing tune. Bit of a gritty tone to his voice. And then Sweden again. And I think this got 100 points exactly. Den Wilder, one more time. Very dreamy. Such a peaceful melody, that one. Ah, oh, absolute classic again, ladies and gentlemen. Turkey, 97. Oh, man. I love this song. This is one of the best songs Turkey ever sent. Dinla. I think that means listen, but don't quote me on that. Shebnem Pakar and Group Ethnic. And she represented Turkey the year before in Oslo as a soloist. With Besinci Mefsim, I think it's called. But this song... Oh, it's great. Looks great, sounds great. Such a catchy beat. Da 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 da. Chiara, her first Eurovision entry from Malta. I mean, this is cheesy. <laughs> the one that I love. She would finish second in 05, and then in the bottom half in 09. 1999, Germany. Surprise. Reisenach, Jerusalem. Yeah, I think people... I mean, obviously Sweden won in 1999, but the voting was really close, actually. I mean, Germany were right there up until the end, pushing for the win. Yeah, not a bad song. And now here we are, into the 21st century, and this song is an absolute... I'm going to use that word again, so prepare yourself. An absolute classic. It's so forgotten about. This is brilliant, and they're still making music now. Brainstorm for Latvia. I can't believe Latvia have lost their way so much in Eurovision. This was a cracking debut. My star, he'd co-host in 03. I love this song. This is great. The bloke's wearing a Man U shirt. The guy playing... Is it the bass guitar? Doesn't really matter. That's a great song. Antique for Greece. That's quite the outfit. Da, 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 da. Really, I could never lie to you. Yeah, that was the best Greek entry for a while. And, of course, it's Helena Paparizou who'd win a few years later. Two third-placed entries in 02. And this is the better of the two. Estonia, on home soil, Salen... My personal winner from that year, Runaway. She was on the catwalk. The only problem with that performance is that I think it was the second verse, maybe the first chorus into the second verse, the backing vocalists overshadowed her vocals. But otherwise, this is a great song, great performance. Arguably better than Estonia's winner the year before. And then the UK, still our best result this century. Really don't like the outfit. Jessica Garlic. She's done very little since. Come back. This is a fine song. 
Great singer. Tattoo. Da, 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 da. Never na boysha. Don't believe, don't fear, I think is the English translation for Russia 03. Their vocals weren't great. Their vocals really weren't great. But this was always going to do fairly well. Only a few points away from winning. Sakis for Greece, 04. I mean, he really knew what he was doing on that stage. Such confidence, bit of choreography. Mm, the vocals may be not the most amazing, but great performance. 2005. Now, this is the year where I really did start paying attention to Eurovision a lot more. This is Luminizia and Kaelin System. Great singer. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Third place may be a bit generous. This is fabulous. Harry Matahari for Bosnia-Herzegovina. Leila. If Bosnia came back and sent a song like this, they'd win. Yeah, this this is great. Another great example as well of a song that I wasn't so keen on at the time, but now I can really appreciate and enjoy. That big last note in that song. Cerebro for Russia, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, how old was I in 2007? Um, 14, 15... Hang on, let me work this out. I should know straight away, of course. I think it was about 13 or 14. I mean, this is... This is good. <laughs> Song number one. I mean... What's great about this is that... First of all, I think it's a pretty good song, song number one. It is sexy, but it's... You know, they're not wearing revealing outfits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can you say? I think that song's underrated by a lot of Eurovision fans, but you can see why it finished third. You know, it's not just the fact that it's quite a sultry performance, but it's a pretty good song as well. And so is this. Calamira for Greece. Secret combination. She was born in America. Da 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 da. This was good. Better than the winner. Azerbaijan 09. A Selenarash. She's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the only issue with this song that I have is that it's really quite repetitive. But it's a really good song. Always. Da 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 Yeah. Paula selling an Ovi for Romania 2010, playing with fire. Yeah. I mean, I like this song, but third place? Again, you could argue that that's maybe a little generous. The piano. Both of them sang well. The Whoa. Uh, yeah. Erik Sada for Sweden 2011. Popular. This is my personal winner from the Dusseldorf competition. I mean, he really put a lot of emphasis on the choreography, and his vocals suffered a bit as a result. But this is good. The lyrics, not that great. But it's a good song, overall. Serbia, 2012. Little bit overrated, won't lie. But pleasant to listen to. Jelko. Great singer. Ukraine, 2013, Gravity, Zlata Ognievich, carried on stage by a giant. Hell of a voice. A lot of people said this was like a Disney song. It's good stuff. Sanna Nielsen, Sweden, 2014, Undo. I've always found the chorus a little irritating. Maybe it's just me. I'm glad she finally represented Sweden, though, because she tried so many times in the past, going way back until the 90s. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah. Oh, well, Il Volo. 
I mean, they were really successful anyway, coming into Eurovision in Vienna in 2015. I thought this was going to win, I'll be honest. Last in the running order. Grande Amore. Red glasses. Oh, brilliant vocals. Very much like Il Devo, but not a bad thing. And would have won if it hadn't been for those pesky juries. And this would have won as well, if it hadn't been for those pesky juries. Sergei Lazarev. You are the only one. Much emphasis on the staging again. But this was great. So slick. Yeah. Moldova. Yeah, a country that nobody thought would finish third anytime soon. And then this came along. Hey Mama. Sunstroke Project. They did really quite poorly in 2010, but this was good. Yeah. The crowd up on their feet. That was a smashing performance. And then Cesar Sampson for Austria. Won the jury vote, which nobody really expected. I mean, looking back now, it's been two years. I can see why this song did so well. But third place? Really? I'm not too sure. Nobody but you. Hints of gospel. Ain't nobody but you. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. That's it. And then, of course, Sergei came back last year for Russia with Scream. And, I mean, he sang so well. Belted the hell out of that song. Um, did very well in the public vote. Not so well with the jurors, but third overall. I can see him coming back for Russia at some point, because he, I'm sure, definitely wants to finish higher than third at some point. Not much to say about the song, though. I think it was a little bit overrated, but I like it more than I did. Anyway, that's it. My reaction to all the songs that have finished third at the Eurovision Song Contest. Some really great entries there. I mean, I mentioned Cerebro for Russia. I've watched that performance back loads of times. I think it holds up even today. And uh, they're still making music, aren't they? But I think it's a completely different lineup now. Oh, yeah, some fantastic songs. I mean, I've already forgotten half of them, but... You had Kiki Daniel, Sean, that was great. Berta Scher, Hot Eyes. Um, One More Time for Sweden. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's mainly the more recent ones that I enjoy. Uh, Calamira was great, Eric Sara, oh yeah, Il Volo, fantastic. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on anything I've mentioned in this video, anything Eurovision related at all. If you want me to react to the songs that have finished 4th, 5th, 6th, maybe the songs that have finished last, well I'll definitely film that anyway. If you want to see those videos, let me know. Apologies if you can hear any background noise, it's probably my neighbours. Some people do not know the meaning of the word lockdown, ladies and gentlemen, just saying. But yes, until next time, thank you very much for watching, really appreciate it. Apologies if the quality wasn't that great, and my rambling, alas. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.